So she rides on the whispering wind Her eyes burn a hole in the sky Speaking, photography is just aiming your camera and recording something. But there are some who have a knack or a talent, and a very special few who have a genius of turning photography into art. Malcolm Douglas loved photographers and photography. He collected the books of photography, especially if they were photographs of the Kimberley. He would have loved this exhibition. Malcolm went into the Kimberley time and time again. It was his inspiration. He really loved Montgomery Reef. And he always managed to get there on the high tide so he could see that dramatic spectacle of the, the island, the reef, rising from the sea. And it was a breathtaking performance. I've seen it. But all of the Kimberley is like that. If you ever ask anyone coming back from their first trip into the Kimberley, what they really remembered, what they were most impressed by, they go, oh, it was the light, it was the colour, it was the grandeur, it was the, 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 and then they lost the words. Because the Kimberley confounds description. Words just don't do it. The Kimberley flaunts itself for the camera and it inspires artistic creativity. The Aborigines knew that and they coloured the caves with their mysterious art. And Rod Hartvigson knows that. And he's covered my walls with such beauty. He is a truly, really, very fine artist and I'm so happy to be able to open this exhibition for you all to enjoy. Thanks Zoe for those words. So um, um, everything I was going to say about the Kimberley is, <laughs> is, uh, is expressed in what Valerie said and she's known it a lot longer than what I have. Um, the uh, I think it's only fitting that this uh, exhibition is in uh, is in the Crocodile Park in this in this building because of Malcolm's uh, attachment to not only the Kimberley Coast but to ex expressively Montgomery Reef, which he was endeavouring to get to be World Heritage um, when he passed. And um, I think it's up to the rest of us to, to push for, for uh, that type of. Um, protection for such an awesome place. It's a massive area. It's uh, when, the, when the tide goes down, it's 300 square kilometres of, of habitat for turtles, dugong, corals, and the bird life is absolutely awesome. Um, there's no animal shots here. They're all taken from, from a plane. Um, and over the last couple of years, as I sit in the catalogue, um, none of them have had the luxury of being shot through an open window because I'm normally uh, just in a commercial flight to, um, to go to Freshwater Cove or Curry Bay or wherever. Um, but I think the, the thing that, um, that I've tried to portray here is that the Kimberley Coast is, is, uh, is awesome, it's, um, it's, it's different, it's colourful, it's got so much in it in the big picture and then also the small picture small islands, the, the small detail. Um, and as I said in the catalogue, um, it's up to us to, to respect it and protect it. And um, so 15% of sales will go to Save the Kimberley organisation um, to continue their work to save the Kimberley, save it from uh, destruction, save it from pollution, save it from somebody wanting to dig it up. So um, I hope you enjoy these photos as much as I enjoy taking them. It's a bit of a passion, the, the detail, the, the, um, the colours, the shapes, the textures. And um, yeah, so enjoy. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.